I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and this is going to be my last haul of 2018. Crazy. We got a bunch of snow the other day so my brother's outside moving snow with the bobcat so if you hear like machinery that's what it is. My apologies in advance. <laughs> I went to CVS the other day and I hadn't been in there for quite some time and they had a whole like aisle full of uh, Korean skincare and beauty and then they had some special collections out but I saw a little display for some new wet and wild products and they had this new shade of the mega glow highlighting powder and I knew it was going to be too deep for like a highlighter on the top of my cheekbones but it looked like a really pretty blush and it kind of reminded me of a blush that came in the flights of fantasy collection that I really liked as well so I went ahead and purchased it and it's in the shade bloom time um, and it is definitely a blush on my skin tone my mom also got this shade and she really likes uh, the mega glow uh, highlighters and blushes from Wet n Wild. Uh, it's like a baked jelly texture, super affordable. I think these are $3.99. There is a highlighter that you guys hear me talk about quite a bit that rivals um, a very expensive Dior highlighter. These are just really nice uh, products. So this is Bloom Time right here. It's got a lot of shine to it. Again, it's uh, the highlighter formula, but for me, it's kind of a blush or blush kind of topper, but look at how pretty the finish is. It's just so pretty. Then from the Korean aisle, I purchased this eyeshadow from a brand called Eco Soul, and it's kind of in the little pot. Um, the shade name, I believe, uh, yeah, it's in, this is made in Korea, so I believe that's Korean. It's BE01 is what's on the back. And these really remind me of the Hourglass Scattered Light um, shadows that are in the pots like this. I swatched those in store a couple times, but I never ended up purchasing them. And then when I wanted to go around purchasing them, they were like sold out everywhere, the, the Hourglass ones. Um, but this particular uh, shadow really reminded me of those. It comes with this little uh, stopper in there as well. But let's swatch it for you guys. This is BE01. Again, the brand is Eco Soul. Right there. Add a little more. But it's just a really pretty color. I think this was $10 too, so it wasn't exactly super cheap in terms of drugstore, but. And then I had seen on one of the end caps they had a new brand called Joa, J-A-O-A-H. They had a whole bunch of products in it. Uh, it's made by the brand Kiss. So like if you heard of like Kiss Lashes. Um, and I remember they had another like uh, sister brand in there a while ago too. I didn't see this one, but I, that one. But I seen this one and this one is newer. So I got the Selfie Ready Setting Powder in, in the translucent shade. And it comes in one other shade with a tint to it as well. Um, I've got it underneath my eyes to set my concealer. And then I kind of put it through my T-zone to take down some of the shine. And it's a really finely milled, nice uh, powder. There's a half an ounce of product in here as well. And I like the packaging because it comes with one of those turn deals with a sifter on one side. So you can close it if you were to travel and you didn't want powder to get all over the place. But it's just a really really finely milled uh, silica powder and I quite like it for taking down the shine. I think it looks nice underneath the eyes but I don't think it set my concealer quite as well as like something like the RCMA no color powder but I'll continue to use it for like uh, shine on my face because it really gives like a flawless uh, finish to the skin. So that is the jo Joa Selfie Ready Setting Powder. That's what it looks like. Then at Ulta, I saw that the Ulta Beauty brand has these glitter cream eyeshadows. And typically the Ulta brand has got like buy two, get two free a lot. Like it's a really frequent deal with the Ulta Beauty brand. So I thought I would go ahead and give some of these a try. I had swatched a few and I was like, oh, those look like they'd be really good toppers. Quite like these Stila Glitter and Glows, um, which they are similar to that. I haven't had any problems with them and they make really nice toppers um, over other eyeshadows. Um, they're not quite as intensely sparkly as the Stila ones, but they could be if you were to layer them up. I don't have any fallout with these either, but they're usually the last step that I put on my eyes too, so I don't go over them with a brush. But let me swatch the shades that I got. So I got four of them because they were buy two, get one free. This first one is Psych, and it's like a pink with a purple shift to it. And these have got a twist cap too, so you should be able to tighten them pretty well without air getting in them so that they last a bit longer. You guys know I kind of have that problem with the steel ones where they're drying out. And I think it's because the packaging is square and you can only turn them so far. You can't like tight tighten them really, really tight. So this is the shade uh, Psych right there. And again, I use these as toppers over like corresponding eyeshadows. So it's still pretty, but you can see it doesn't have quite the impact as the Stila ones, unless you were to layer it up. 
This next one is the shade Totally, and it's kind of like a celestial white purple shade. Um, I do feel like this looks much better topped over another eyeshadow than it does by itself. It's kind of, it's lacking a little, a little bit. So that one is the shade Totally. This next one is called Tubular, and it's kind of a golden brown taupe shade here. So that is the shade Tubular. And then this last one is the shade Righteous, and this is a gold, kind of a gold, old gold, golden green shade. Right there. So that one is Righteous. Also from Ulta Beauty, they have these lustrous foil eyeshadows, and when I swatched these in the store, they just looked, they came off so saturated and so intense, I was like, ooh, I gotta give those a try. Again, this is a product that reminds me of the Stila, um, they were like a wet type of uh, pressed glitter like this, and I had had one of those, I think they've since discontinued them, and um, they were really pretty, but they were very difficult to use, and one of the things that I found with those is glitter continually dropped on my face throughout the day with those, so I had used it like twice, and after that I was like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> um, these ones here I have got on my eyelids right now. I've got the shade Gold Leaf kind of in the middle, and then Silver Leaf more in the inner corner, and I used my finger to tap these directly over primer, and it worked out really well. I had like hardly any fallout. They do come off a little chunky, so you kind of have to break them up and really kind of blend them with your finger into the primer um, but I was surprised with how like little fallout I had and then throughout the day here I don't have like any glitter on my face either so um, so far pretty impressed with these little guys um, the liquid eyeshadows are definitely easier to use but I do think that these are really pretty and sparkly so I'll go ahead and uh, swatch them for you so here is the gold leaf shade right there again uh, I was able to get these by to get to free too so that's gold leaf, and then this one right here is silver leaf, and the, the, those are the two that I have on today. Look at that crazy, right? I'm so tempted to, like, I kind of want to put this on the top of my cheekbones. <laughs> Might be a bit much, but... So that's silver leaf. And then I got the shade bronze leaf. So here's bronze leaf. And then the last one I got was the shade Copper Leaf. And I think that these are just really nice, kind of affordable. They're, I think they ended up being like $4 a piece. Uh, the original price tag on one is eight, if memory serves me correctly. So they're not that bad of a price, and I think they're pretty nice. Um, and so here's Copper Leaf. Gotta set the pot down here so I don't drop something. Those are just really pretty, I think. So those are from Ulta Beauty, and they're called exactly the Lustrous Foil Eyeshadows. Then I got a few items from the new Becca collaboration that they did with Khloe Kardashian and her best friend Malika. Um, I got the palette, it's made with Love by Khloe. So this is Khloe's version. And I keep looking at the Malika one too because there's two really pretty pink blushes in there and the bronzer in that one looks like uh, a cooler tone than the one in here. And uh, I kind of want to get that one too. I know the highlighter is probably going to be one I'd have to mix into the blushes to use it because it'll be too deep, but the shades in there look really pretty. Um, very tempted because I like the products in here. I've got all of these products on my face today. This highlighter m blends into my skin tone pretty much. It gives a nice sheen, but I do have a little bit of an Ofra highlighter mixed in with that to give me more of a lift on the cheekbones because this one again is very, it kind of blends into my skin tone. And then the two blush shades in here are very, very similar. They have an apricot type of tone and one is just ever so slightly lighter than the other. I've got this one on today and then I also use this bronzer and I purchased the I think it's called the Be A Light palette that they came out with it was a longer one I know it recently went on sale on Sephora and I ended up taking that one back just because it was so difficult to pick up the product um, these ones I feel like come off on a brush much easier than that one and I really like how um, this palette made my face look it's very like summery and very glowy so I'm pretty happy with it um, I, I do I want to get the Malika one too <laughs> There's 0.42 ounces of product in here, 12 grams, so each shade is 3 grams per um, shade there. So 
you can see just how similar um, those blushes are. And this on, on my skin tone, is a, it pull, definitely pulls warm for me. So that is the Made With Love by Chloe Bronze Blush and Glow Palette. I also got these, which were definitely unnecessary, but they were really cute. <laughs> the Becca, Chloe, and Malika BFF, BFF's Glow Letters. There's 0.28 ounces or 8 grams of product in here. The packaging itself is very... It feels cheap. Uh, it's just a cardboard packaging. Um, it was $18 for this as well, which it's it's an okay price range considering the packaging. It'd be, it would have been nicer, I think, if they would have put it in a, a hard case packaging. But inside of here, you've got bronze hearts and kind of peachy gold X's and O's. And it's kind of meant to kind of just dust all over your face. I kind of felt like I was a little bit shiny already, so I didn't use these today. Um, I think they're cute, but they're definitely, they're definitely not necessary, you know? So this is them mixed together. Here's the light shade, and then here's the dark shade in the little X's and O's there. They're not overly shiny, but they're definitely going to give your skin some glow to it. And since I put all these on, I kind of felt like I had a little bit too much glow to use those today, so. But they're fun. And then I got one of the lipsticks, and the shade that I got is Yours Truly. And the packaging on this guy is pretty nice. It's got Becca on there and it's got a magnetic closure. I had purchased a Becca lipstick when they came out with a range, I think it was this summer, and the formula was really patchy. It just was not flattering, so I ended up taking that lipstick back. I'm happy to report that this formula is much nicer. It's creamy, it's opaque, it goes on evenly. This is the lipstick that I have on my lips today with uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude. So I do feel that this formula is much nicer than the previous formula that I had tried from them. Mm, but it has a bit of a fragrance to it and it has a slight lipsticky taste. The taste has gone away since my initial application so I think I can tolerate it but it's something to make note of. It does have a slight lipsticky type taste and I feel like it smells, um, it kind of smells coconutty. This is the shade Yours Truly. Again, this is what I have on. I should put more on. It's a really nice creamy formula. It has a lot of like butters in it um, so it's going to be hydrating as well and comfortable on the lips so there's a swatch of it on my hand. See, it goes on really nice and opaque. Then I also purchased this Smashbox LA Cover Shot Eye Palette, and I, I used it with my 20% off Ulta coupon, um, and I ordered it off of the Ulta website. And it was kind of a little misleading, the pictures on there. It didn't show that the full-size eyeliner that comes with it is actually housed in the palette, um, which I kind of don't like. I would have liked more eyeshadow to be in there than to have the space being taken up by a pencil eyeliner. Some people are going to appreciate that. I would have rather just had eyeshadows, and you, can, you couldn't see that from the picture, so I was like, hmm. But the packaging itself is quite pretty. It's got like one of those switch pictures on there and then inside it doesn't open up very far which I would have liked it to lay back a little bit more but the, you can't push it any further back there's a pretty good size mirror in there and then the eyeliner that comes in there is the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Fishnet which is just a black these are really nice creamy eyeliners and they probably set well on the skin but for the waterline for me they do transfer to the inner corners and they rub off so inside you've got 16 eyeshadows these three bright shades are matte You've got these two colors right here that are matte, and the bottom shade is matte. You've got this top one and this deep brown, and then you've got kind of this taupey gray over here that's matte. The other shades have got a shimmer to them. Um, this is the eyeshadow palette that I have on my eyes from the crease upwards. Again, I have those shimmery Ulta glitters on my lid, and I feel like the matte shades blended out really well, and they had nice pigmentation to them, so I was happy with that. The shimmer shades are pretty, um, but they're not like super in your face. Let me go ahead and swatch some of these shadows for you. I, for some reason, this palette reminds me of the Urban Decay uh, Naked on the Run. It's got a varying amount of shades in there, uh, fun colors, that shade doesn't look so hot. Um, fun colors, shimmers, mattes, warms, cools, you know, just a variation for like, it'd be a good one to travel with because you got like all the tones in there. And these next ones. Nothing revolutionary though. And then these guys. Oh, I should have wiped that off. My apologies. This is a matte brow bone shade. I 
And then this last section, which is kind of a cooler section. So there are the swatches for that, guys. And again, that's the Smashbox LA Cover Shot Eye Palette. There's 0.43 ounces of product in this guy, and each shade averages out to be about 0.026 ounces per shade, which is on the smaller end of the amount of product that you're getting for a palette. Then also using my Ulta 20% off coupon, I did get the three new Urban Decay On The Run, are they the minis? On The Run palettes, they're the smaller size versions. They came out with three. I got some really pretty looks out of these two. I didn't have to bring in any other eyeshadows with these two palettes, but for the one called uh, Shortcut, I'm probably gonna have to bring in a lighter um, brow bone highlight shade in there because these the shades in here are all too deep to be like a highlight for me. But let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches. I just love this one called Detour. I think it's really, really pretty. Each shadow in here is 0 0.02 ounces as well. So uh, smaller in terms of the amount of product that you're getting for a palette. In here, there are four mattes. You've got this one, this one, and then these two right here. I think it's coordinated really well in terms of mattes, shimmers, lights, and darks, and medium shades. So there's the top row. Nicely pigmented. The mattes blended out super nice too. And in the past I have had troubles with Urban Decay mattes because they're really thin and soft so that I would have a hard time blending them out. But these ones are a little bit more substantial. So liking the newer formula. It does remind me of the On The Run um, palette formula as well which I got along with those really well too. So that one there is the uh, Detour on the Run eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. And then this next one is called Bailout and it's in the purple packaging. This one has got three mattes, which are these ones right here. And then this shade has got a slight sheen to it. I'd call it like a satin finish. And then these bottom ones are shimmery with these two having like micro glitters in them. This one is a little dry and a little chunky, but really packed over a sticky base. It turned out quite pretty. So we'll give some swatches of this guy. Having a hard time flipping the cover backwards. <laughs> These do have mirrors in them, so. And then the bottom row. I really like this color. It's like a champagne, but there's a like a shift of a bit of a purple in it. So that is the palette in Bailout. And then this last one is called Shortcut, and this is the one that I haven't used just yet. Four mattes in here as well, which are these two on the top, and then these two over here on the bottom. This one has a little bit of sparkles in it, but the base of it is matte. So I guess it'd probably go on for like a matte for me. There's the top row and then the bottom row. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So that one is called Shortcut. And then from Beautylish, Sonia G did come out with two new eye brushes, so I went ahead and purchased those guys. And I'll kind of compare them next to four of the pro brushes that she recently came out with in a set. I did get sent this set. I have purchased several Sonia G brushes myself as well. And when these come back in stock, I really want to get myself another set of these because I use these like crazy. They're just very high quality, very exquisitely made brushes. The pro ones have got a smaller bottom handle than her originals. Uh, these ones are, the two new ones that just came out are more like the, her original launch where the bases, they're thick and they stay that width all the way down. The uh, pro version, they taper smaller at the end. So this one is Crease 2 and this one is Worker 3. So this is about as wide as it is. 
right there. And this one's round all the way with a point to it. So comparing them next to uh, Blender Pro, it's just a different hair type, but the uh, actual head of the brush is very, very similar. So this is the Blender Pro that came in the Pro Collection, and then here is the uh, Crease 2 right there. And then I'll compare the Worker 3 next to the Worker Pro. The Worker 3 is larger. It's more dense than the Worker Pro. So it's a little bit thicker, a little bit big all around, but it has the same type of shape right there. Just a little bit bigger and fluffier, a little bit more full of a brush head. So those are the two new brushes from Sonia G, again with the handles, so pretty. I'm putting on some of that powder that I showed earlier to kind of get the shine down. Might as well show you guys so you can kind of see it take away that uh, shine. I also purchased this palette from Sydney Grace Cosmetics. It's called Autumn's Rain. Uh, Sydney Grace Cosmetics is a indie brand, and I had heard really good things about their shadows. I've seen really beautiful swatches online, and I had gone to their site a few times, and there was just so many different finishes and selections that it kind of made it hard for me to decide what kind of shades to get. In a palette form like this, this was just a great way for me to try the shadows because there's a mix of finishes, both mattes and the metallics. They're very nicely pigmented. The metallics are super shiny. They blend really well, very minimal fallout. I really like the shadows. Um, I'm tempted to go on there and order some more, um, but I kind of would like them to put together another palette for me to buy <laughs> because this is just so much easier. These are magnetized and pushed in the palette as well. So if you want to remove them, you can and then the names are on the back of the pan. So this, this top row right here is all matte. Then you've got kind of this teal over here that's a matte, and then these two purple shades over here are matte. The other ones are pretty metallic, pretty shiny, but the quality of these are super nice. So let's give you some swatches. Super nice, right? And this brown. Wait till you see some of the swatches of these like metallic shades. They're just like wicked intense. So pretty. The mattes are like butter, but they're substantial too. Ooh. And then these two. Down here. I love that they're magnetized too and you can remove them. I think all companies need to make their shadows magnetized. <laughs> Look at that. And then these last three. This green is so pretty. So pretty. Crazy, right? Look at how pretty those are. And they, they go on beautiful as well. So nice. So that is the uh, Sydney Grace Autumn's Rain Eyeshadow Palette. And that is going to be everything for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Have a safe and happy New Year's. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.